what's going on everybody it is your favorite auntie mo and we are back for the new <laughs> the new new show for jocelyn this is jocelyn hernandez's um cabaret this is season one episode one i don't know what the name of the show is i don't know it don't matter First and foremost, before we get into this regular church announcements, if you have not done so, just yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Before you leave, let me know that you stopped by. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down and then hit the notification bell so you will know whenever I upload new content. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If this is your first time to my channel, look here. I just want to apologize to you right now. Any of my returning subscribers, I just want to apologize to you right now because look here. This here show is, is, is ratchet as hell. I'm finna do a, a wee bit of cursing. Because this show is all about the hoes. All about strip hoes, the, the, the working hoes, the whole hoes, okay? It's all about the hoes. So I just want to give you a disclaimer off the rip, okay? We're going to be doing a little bit of a, a, adult content over here, okay? Due to the graphic nature of the show, I will not be able to provide y'all clips like how I did with Tonio. Because every other scene was TNA. <laughs> ass and titties, ass, ass and titties, just everywhere. So, um, yeah, I, I, auntie, <laughs> I ain't got time for my channel to be shut down. No, no shit like that. Ain't nobody got time for that. But I will give y'all a good ass review. So hopefully y'all are ready for this review because I'm ready to give it to you. So let's get right on up into it. Yeah, okay. It starts off with sort of a glimpse into the future, okay? We see Jocelyn Hernandez, baby. She's talking with two of the girls who are gonna be in her cabaret, okay? These two girls are Chastity and, um, what's the other girl name? Chastity and, um, Daisy. So she's sitting there talking with them. They arguing going back and forth. Next thing you know, Jocelyn, damn their dog walks um chastity it just kind of i was like oh whoa y'all just gonna start off popping like that i mean they start off with boom this and then boom i was like okay this is how we kick it through the door okay i'm with it okay what's up what's up what else y'all got Cha. so from there you see before she actually dog walks her it stops and you can hear Jocelyn with her uh, voiceover. You're probably wondering how we got to this moment. <laughs> Sit back and let me take you on a ride and let you hear how we got to this point. So, y'all, that was the setup for her basically saying what, what had happened was what got to that situation there, right? So, we end up going back a little bit. She's giving her history. It's introducing Jocelyn. She's giving her whole history about how she started off in a strip club. That led her to be in a music video. That led her to be in on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, which led her to be the breakout star, the Puerto Rican princess that we all love today, okay? Now, look here. Let me just say, Jocelyn... I, first off the rip, I knew I was going to love this show because if y'all watch me, y'all know I love me a good old ratchet show. Okay, I just do. <laughs> I'm sorry, not sorry. I love me a good ratchet show. And this was giving me everything. Jocelyn has grown up. Now, she, she's still the same old hood chick. Don't get it twisted. But you can see how she has matured a lot. You know what I'm saying? We got um her. She, she said how she wants to get some of the baddest bitches in Miami together because she wants to put together a cabaret. Now, I'm thinking, was she talking about something like how the Pussycat Dolls had did where everybody had their own little individual talent and so these girls is going to be some as rappers and some going to be singers or something so we're going to all get together with our talent. This is what I'm thinking we we gonna have going on right that's when i'm thinking cabaret i'm thinking okay you know what i'm saying i don't that's what i was thinking johnson is on the boat with her fiance ballistic right now she's talking about how everything in atlanta was really toxic and how if she wouldn't have left stevie would have still had control over me and have <laughs> did you ever really love me stevie i can't never get over that johnson forever in my head did you ever really love me stevie <laughs> She also says that she was upset with Mona Scott because Mona Scott, she was hoping would ma eventually make her the EP on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta because um, Mona was there for all the bullshit and all the shenanigans when she was popping off and fighting everybody. But when it comes to her being an EP, she wasn't having that. So she was like, oh no, hell no. 
You're not finna just keep me around for the bullshit, but then you don't want me around for nothing else. She said it was just too toxic for her. She had to get away. So she says she wants to get some of the baddest bitches in the strip club <laughs> and on the whole stroll, and she wants to put together this cabaret. She wants to be the person that's going to give back to the community. She's on a super saver whole mission, okay? Her mission is to get these girls and to help show them that there's another way aside from just working in a strip club, you can work in a super strip club. You can be a, a super scripper, I guess. I, I don't know. But in her mind, she got it where she finna get out there and she finna save these hoes. She got, she got to save these hoes. These hoes need saving. And Jocelyn is finna put together cabaret to help save these hoes. <laughs> she on a, a, a reach one, teach one mission. <laughs> I'm gonna teach these hoes not to be any ordinary hoe. We gonna be, it's levels to this shit. Right now you here, I'm gonna get you here with it. So she goes and she meets with this chick named Daisy, right? Now Daisy is 23, looks like she's 35. I'm not saying it in no bad way. She's a really beautiful girl, beautiful, beautiful girl. But she, she looks 35. She been a stripper a long time. She just had a baby by her baby daddy. He's her pimp. And his name is Flower. A pimp named Flower. And he got about three, four bitches in his garden of bitches. <laughs> he going through picking bitches out of his garden that all work for him. You know what I'm saying? And so Johnson asks, you know, how's Flower, pimp daddy, how's big daddy going to feel about, you know, you possibly coming and working with me. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I'm, 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 I'm trying to show you a better life. You're better good, you know, something you can do with yourself. And she's like, Daddy okay with as long as I, you know what I'm saying, I'm still bringing some money back to him. Johnson's like, so you go out and you work and you give all your money to, 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 to Flower, to dad, Big Daddy Flower? And she said, yeah, pretty much. I was like, oh, it's still hoes in 2020. Now, Daisy is not just any hoe. Daisy is a proud bottom bitch she says she's she's a proud bottom bitch and she's scared to leave big daddy flower because he's always been there for her you know what i'm saying johnson like look at home i'm trying to teach you something good for yourself i'm trying to teach you some game get you out here you know what i'm saying working in a cabaret time out i don't think daisy got no talent other than being a bottom bitch, because she didn't say nothing about singing or rapping or nothing like that. But hey, she's a proud bottom bitch, and that's going to get her somewhere in life. Josh said, look here, I need you to go get one of your baddest homegirls, you know what I'm saying, and and, and, and tell her we're going we gonna to get together, us a family, and we going to... Johnson is straight out here pimping these females, okay? She's out here on her madam shit, okay? <laughs> Cash hole records. She trying to get a bunch of bitches together so she can start something. And she going to be all of their mama. <laughs> Daisy say she got a homegirl named Chastity. Now, Chastity, she got a sugar daddy that, you know, she has to give up the sugar to. And um, the only difference between her hoeing and regular hoeing is that she got the sugar daddy that she only hold too. You know what I'm saying? But Daisy say she gonna holler at her because, you know, she a hoe, so she always down to get some money. So she gonna holler at her, see if she want to contribute to the family. You know what I'm saying? See if they can, you know, smack that up, flip that, do all of that. So Jocelyn, like, look here. I'm gonna need you to make sure you go get everything straight with Big Daddy Flower so he ain't trying to fuck up my business in no kind of way. You know what I'm saying? I know he gotta get his money, but I gotta get my money too. So make sure Big Daddy Flower know what's going on. Holler at your homegirl Chastity so she know what we doing with this family thing. And I'm going to come hook up with y'all later. They say like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I got it. I'm going to go holler at Chastity. Justin, like, good. Now, you going to be a good little bottom bitch. You going to round up all the hoes you know. Tell them we going to meet at G5 later. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we about to get us family popping. I said, Jocelyn is... This this is no other reality show like I done ever seen. But this ain't no flavor of love, nothing. This is real legit pimping what she doing on TV. And I'm paying $3.99 to watch it. Yes, I am. Yes, yes, I am. Justin ends up going to G5 and meeting with Disco Rick. Disco Rick is a DJ 
that used to DJ for her when she was Chanelica Benacourt back in the day when she was a stripper. He was the one that actually gave her the name the Puerto Rican Princess, right? So she's sitting up there chopping it up with him, letting him know that, you know, she wants to put together this whole cabaret thing and, you know, see where this is going to take off. Now, look here. He lets her know, look here, these young hoes, shit ain't the same no more. These young hoes don't respect the old hoes no more. They don't they don't put no respect on these old hoes' names and what they had to go through to get here. They think they can just come in and they can, you know what I'm saying, make the little booty clap and they can do what it is. They don't respect the old hoes that have paved the way for them to be here. Johnson assures him, like, look here, I already know the game. I know what it is. You know, I can get these girls together. You know, she wants, basically, she wants to, um, she wants to ask him if she can basically host her cabaret there in G5. And so he's like, look here, it ain't no honor amongst hoes no more. Just as long as you know, these young bitches ain't got no goddamn going respect. So don't, don't, I don't want no bullshit in my club. I'm going to need you hoes to be in line and, and get along and I'll be on one accord. You know what I'm saying? So he like, look here, I'm going to let you do it here. But you need to keep your bitches in check. So she goes and talks with Lucky and uh, Jada. They, <laughs> when she, they looked real tired when they was on the pole. But I said the same thing. They was, you know, they was like, who? They like, they have, they, they, that was at the end of their 12 hour shift. They was tired. They had to go pick up them damn kids later on. Soon as Johnson walked up, she said, y'all hoes tired? Y'all ain't making nothing clap or nothing. You been working all day? Bitch, your feet hurt. What's wrong with you? <laughs> so soon as she talks to him, Johnson goes straight in for the kill. She on her pimp shit. Look here. I'm trying to get a bunch of bad bitch together. But it's cabaret. We going to get in here. We going to make this money. We going to put all this money in the pot. We going to be a family. You know what I'm saying? I got these other two hoes, Chastity and, and Daisy, you know what I'm saying? I just need to get you two bitches in my shit, and you know what I'm saying? We can have a whole stable of hoes. What y'all trying to do? Now, Lucky and uh, other homegirl, I forgot the other homegirl name. What, what, what her name, girls? Jada. They with it. They like, oh, you know, we some hoes. We with it. We trying to get this money. But third time out, they got an issue with Chastity and Daisy, because they say they hate on them because they some 304s. For y'all that don't know, 304s is hoes. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day, for you youngins, we had these things called beepers. You know what I'm saying? And if you really want to disrespect a bitch back in the day, you text her 304. So when she turned her beeper upside down, she say, oh, ho, oh, you calling me a ho? Y'all, that's what that is. You know what I'm saying? But they all hoes. But it's different levels of the hoanism that they own. So Daisy and Chastity is hating on Jada and Lucky because they some three old foes. You know what I'm saying? And they some other kind of hoes. I'm like, a hoe is a hoe. What? <laughs> Jocelyn, I look here. I'm going to need y'all hoes to get along. It's for the family. We got to put all this money in a pot. Bitches need lashes and shoes and tampons around here. Look here. This for the family. I'm going to need you bitches to stop that shit at the door and get along. Later on, child, they over there in the locker room of G5. I'm looking for my homegirl, Nina Unrated. <laughs> If y'all don't follow Nina Unrated, follow her on YouTube. She is funny. She does all kind of stripper vlogs and stripper chronicles and all of that shit. It's hilarious. Nina Unrated. That's my bitch. Follow her, okay? So as soon as they get there, Jocelyn is sitting down and she's talking with Chastity and Daisy and Jada and Lucky. And it's this other, um, th this other stripper chick that I'm going to get to her in a minute, child. So Jocelyn is telling them, you know, again... I want to do this cabaret. Mind you, ain't now none of one of these hoes ain't, I ain't heard nothing about no talent. Johnson says she wants to put this cabaret together. I'm just confused on what's so different from what the, G5. Ain't that like a cabaret? Ain't that like a classic script club right there? It's in Miami. Niggas pay a lot of money to go there. I hear about rappers rapping about it. I ain't that like, but I don't. I don't know. John, no, I don't know. So Chastity was kind of stuck up about it when jo um, Jocelyn was telling them what it was. She was like, well, what is a cabaret? I don't know what that is. How much money we going to make? Because we make a band tonight now. So how much money we going to make? Jocelyn was like, ooh, hold on. 
I heard your boyfriend is a scamming ass dude anyway, your sugar daddy, so you don't even work. What you talking about, bitch? I'm trying to elevate your mind. I'm trying to elevate your skills. Upgrade your bitch so you can be all, be something better than a sit back sugar baby. Bitch, I'm trying to help you upgrade yourself. Now, Sapphire is old school, bitch. Sapphire, I like Sapphire. <laughs> Sapphire is sick of this shit. She's sick of being a scripper. She's sick of these niggas groping on her and grabbing on her and, 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 and all of that. She ain't, she, she out of the game. She want to get out the game. She's sick of this shit. You know what I'm saying? She's from Cleveland. Now, Sapphire's a hood ass. She'll fight your ass and make that ass clap at the same time on your ass. She one of them type of bitches. She said she from Cleveland and back in Cleveland, she ain't, you know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't groping on her and all of that up here in G5. All these niggas is groping and grabbing on her and all of that. So she down with the whole cabaret thing, thinking that, you know, it's going to be more sensual and more sexy. And, and the guys ain't going to be grabbing on you, all of that. Child, that's when her and Daisy start to get into it, right? Now, Daisy is like, um, well, you just have to set the ground rules because... Uh, if you allow them to do that to you, then that's what they're going to do to you. Me, as for me, I don't have to do that. Sapphire then gets to saying how it's harder for the dark skin scrippers and hoes because they got to do more because they dark skin and, and the light skin hoes ain't got to do as much because they light skin. Child, they start going back and forth about that. Next thing you know, Jocelyn like, look at bitches, look. I done told you hoes, it's all about the family. We all gonna put the shit in the pot and we gonna get along. That's just what it is. Child Joss, I don't look here. I'm gonna need you bitches to cool off. Have you a Snickers break or something. But when we get out here on this goddamn field to get this money, I'm gonna need you bitches to fall in formation and be ready. Child, next thing you know, Daisy gonna step her little ass up talking about, well, just in case, uh, I wanna let you guys know that I am the bottom bitch. So, if anybody has any questions, anything you need help with, let me know. I am here for you. They all like, bitch, how you the bottom bitch? I ain't feeling no application. Ain't nobody asked you that I wanna be a bottom bitch, y'all. So, they start going back and forth. Next thing you know... Nails start flying, wigs start flying, fists start flying, the holes is fighting. Jocelyn, these holes don't understand. It's for the family. You're gonna have to get these holes in formation, y'all. The episode ended from there. This show is gonna be hilarious. I can already tell because you already know Jocelyn is is entertaining as hell. She was one of my favorites from Love and Hip Hop, goddamn, besides my bitch Cardi B, of course. But y'all, that was the end of the episode from there. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this review. If y'all watched it, if it was anything that I missed, y'all already know. Drop it down below and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And Auntie Mo, we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out. What's going on, y'all? Look here. If you like this video, do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up. Share this video. Comment on this video. All of that good stuff. And if ain't nobody else told you today, I sure enough love you and I sure enough appreciate you.